The number of home runs John Carlo has hit this year. Ooh, that's good. His home run had an exit velocity of 115.7 miles per hour, mm. or in the stat cast. That's His fast. third homer hit 115 miles per hour this season, the most in Major League Ooh. Baseball. Number 51, the number of postseason goals Alex Ovechkin has scored in his career, whatever his name is. Ovechkin, I don't know that. You got it, you got it, you got it. That name? Whatever. He had two goals last night, and the Capitals won four straight playoff games for the first time since 2009. What's his last finals. name again? Ovechkin. Well, watch y'all do this. And number nine, the Celtics have won nine straight games. Five at home when a best of seven series is tied two and two. Ooh, Celtics will take on the Bucks tonight with the series tied two to two. All right. And welcome back to Sports Nation, and we welcome in a former Celtic, Tony Allen is in the house. And not just a former Celtic, but a former Pelican as well. So let's talk about your team uh -oh. right now. And the Pelicans are making some noise out there, some serious noise in the playoffs. Uh -huh. They just swept the Blazers out of the postseason. And Zach Lowe wrote a column today saying the following about the Pelicans without DeMarcus Cousins. Quote, oh, the Pelicans look better, faster, stingier, more versatile with Davis at center. Drew Holiday in the elevator role. And Nikola Mirotic, got that one right, Nicola. spacing the floor for Davis at borderline. Corner graphic rim runs, a long term. Whoa. Near max deal for Cousins is kind of too runs? risky. That's aggressive. Given the Pelicans know this, this current roster when healthy, <laughs> an important caveat can win at this level. Tony Allen, do AD and the Pelicans still need DeMarcus Cousins? Uh, I would have to say uh, you wouldn't just throw that out the window saying that we don't need him, but uh, he's a talent, 20 and 10 guy. Uh, uh, well, I'm co more concerned about his work ethic, is how he's going to recover from this. Obviously, the team's playing well with Rondo running the show. Anthony Davis playing at a high level. You got guys like Darius Miller and uh, Etwan Moore shooting high 40s for the, uh, from three. And uh, Rondo's been the catalyst of it all. And mm -hmm. They look good now, but you can't. it's too early. I mean, it's just the first round. They, 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 they beat the, uh, swept the um, Trailblazers. Trailblazers. And we'll see how battle tested they are next round. Do you doubt he can recover from the Achilles injury? Uh, like I said, I, I can't. I can't say. We got to see how his work ethic is over the summer, mm. and we see how he come from there. I don't believe we've seen a big man have this injury and recover in from football. it. Yeah, yeah. So right. it, it, it's certainly tough. And, but look, I would say this, and Tony, you can agree with me or not, but I think that you always got to add more talent if you can get it right. And that's on Alvin Gentry and the coaching staff and everyone involved to kind of make that thing work with Demarcus Cousins if you can allow him back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been being around him. His work ethic looked up to par to me. Uh, but like I said, we never seen a big man come back from this. Yeah, it was truly devastating because when you look at the replay about how he actually injured himself, he was hustling, chasing the offensive rebound. One of the big criticisms was he wasn't a hustler, but he was committed. He had changed himself once he got to once he got to the new team. The other thing I think is interesting is we forgot when Anthony Davis was out, mm. it was Boogie Cousins' name that we're like going, oh my God, this right. guy's like an MVP yeah, candidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's keeping them afloat without AD. So if that's what we're saying. When he was playing, let's just wait to see if he's healthy before we decide whether or not he's trade bait. Uh, look, let's not gloss over this. Look, there's no I in team, but there is a me. And if it were me, mm. I'm sitting at home rooting against my team's success. Because all it does <laughs> oh. is highlight how they don't oh. need me. Right now, if you're a general manager sitting there saying, max deal in one hand, oh, or man. second round or further in the playoffs oh. without oh. a max deal, what do you think smart business tells you to so do? So let me get this straight. Take the heart out of this. Come when on, you're not on this set, you're all somewhere in the Bahamas hoping that we fail here in Sports Nation. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> it's going to be tomorrow when I'm not here. And yes, I hope the rankings take. Right. Damn right. Look, when I, when That's I, especially because Keyshawn's going to be on. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh man, please. 0.0 0 rated. Then. <laughs> Real talk. When I left San Diego and I was in Dallas, I watched San Diego games and I got upset. I mean, just, just primal emotion was like, yeah. damn it. They out there winning. Them dudes end up going 14 and 2 one year. Oh, I was cursing everybody out because they were doing it without me, and I think that's what you have to think, especially in a contract year situation. There's no way you want this team to go far in the playoffs. What does that say about you, though? Oh, I wasn't that good. That's why I was gone in the playoffs. <laughs> Look, I got a healthy ego. I know what I was good. Wasn't that year. All uh, right, let's move on, y'all, to the Red Hot Rockets. And last night, the Rockets exploded in the third quarter. Say that again, scoring 50 points Boy. and crushed the Timberwolves in game four. James Harden scored 22 of those 50 third quarter points himself. 
outscoring the other team by himself. And no other team has scored more points in a quarter since 1962 when the Lakers scored 51. George, did the Rockets put the rest of the Western Conference on notice with that performance last night? Marcellus, what they did yesterday was let us know that, hey, the Rockets team that's been here all season in the regular season mm. finally showed up in the playoffs. Mike D'Antoni said that they had not been playing well for a couple of months. They certainly hadn't been playing well the first couple of games of this series. Not up to their standards. Even the game they won in a blowout, they shot like 38%. Mm. So the answer is yes, they have put people on notice. They are going to be in a battle with the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference. Yeah, Tony, if you're on the Golden State Warriors, what you saying about that performance in this team? Uh, well, I'm just looking at the game yesterday. I, I thought it was a lot of just bad coverages, not a lot of effort in it in that third quarter. But uh, teams are going to look at film and say, yeah, these guys have a lot of offensive power. But it doesn't surprise you if those guys are not giving the effort. Tony, hey, people don't play defense like you. I get it. Can you yeah, look I, at it from like a normal it, man's way. viewpoint? For Tibbs, too. That's got to be rough. Exactly. I didn't like their pick and roll coverages uh, last night. They had the big too far back. Yeah. You got to pull a big up a little and, di and discourage the ball handling. Mm. So let me get this straight. The number one team in the NBA hmm. faced a team that needed overtime to make them to the playoffs. <laughs> they had a bunch of guys who basically underperformed under Tibbs. They had to bring in Derrick Rose out the streets onto the court. He's actually <laughs> playing the best out of everyone Shout in the postseason so far. Shout out to Derrick Rose. Love you much. Yeah, yeah. And we're surprised that this great offense with likely the MVP just crushed them by 50 points or had 50 points in the third quarter. I didn't learn anything. You didn't learn I anything? Didn't, I didn't learn anything. I mean, it's only the just, second time somebody you. scored 50 but points in a quarter. Thank you. You had to learn that. You should not hear the dynamic I just said. Minnesota needed overtime just to even make the playoffs, and they're playing like straight booty. Their defense has not been Tim's defense at all. I agree. And, and I agree. No, I agree Houston with that. We hear Rockets you. Had, and Houston Rockets With 1962, the last time they had the When that vest came out, like 1962, <laughs> come on. <laughs> 1962. Look how you got to suck it in. You got to coordinate. Ain't nobody scored that many points since that came listen, out. Listen, listen, <laughs> this is where I keep my snuff right here. Let's move on, y'all. Yeah, uh, social media snafu. Ooh, question mark. Yesterday, Kevin Durant liked the comment on the Instagram post that bashed Russell Westbrook. Today, KD said he accidentally liked Man. the comment. <laughs> Tony, KD liking the comment on Instagram too petty? Yeah, that's that's a lot petty, man. <laughs> you gotta leave it alone, man. You moved forward, got you a ring. You, you compete for a championship this year. Oklahoma City, where they down 3-1. Move for it. That's, that's, that's in your backyard. You don't need that. That is the pettiest of petty, and I love it because that's what the NBA does best is drama, okay? They bring as much drama as any as any show on television, yeah. let alone a sport. And I do love the Kevin Durant. Who, me? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What's more petty, yeah. that he actually liked it or that he lied? No. Yeah, the, the, second, the latter. The, the latter for sure. It's the, the latter, yeah. it's yeah. the latter thing, sure. Tony, that makes me disappointed in him. Just go ahead and be petty on the petty on and the roll petty. with move it. Forward. Stop yeah. backing off the yeah. petty. If you're going to be petty, go and roll with it, All bro. Right. Well, we got to move on, man. Thank you, Tony Allen, for coming yes, in here. Bringing some great defensive coverages to our set. Yes, indeed. Julio Jones has yet to join the Falcons for off-season workouts. Uh-oh. He also deleted all the Falcons-related pictures from his Instagram oh, and Twitter. Oh. Should the Falcons be worried? We'll discuss next. Oh. Be Force Nation. So what that means? Walking like a man, hitting like a hammer. She's a juvenile scam. Never was a quitter.